my name is Honoria and welcome to my channel. Here we do reactions, mostly on BL and GL content uh, and mostly from Asian countries. We might do other countries. Uh, I know Love Victor season 3 is coming, I want to see that. And we got Young Royals, probably gonna react to that season 2 when that comes out. But yeah, mostly Asian. Uh, and today we're doing a channel update because it's 1st of March. Um, so yeah, what have we been up to in February? I got notes if you wonder why I'm looking down. Um, so I got 107 new subscribers in February and that for me that's... I think I have 158 or something or 159, I don't know, something around there. Almost 160 when I record it. And that's... It's my second month on YouTube. I didn't have any network. I haven't done this. I, I mean... Yeah, I've been on internet before. I was, you know, a pro gamer once in a gazillion lifetimes ago. But that... I, nobody... Nobody from that circle will be here. Like, no. And they don't remember me because... That circle moves so fast and it was years ago, so yeah. Um, it's weird. It's... it's... I, I'm... I'm so thankful. But I feel like, wow. How, how did I even get here so fast? I thought... I still think that... Like, I, I was convinced that the second month would be... Oh, maybe 20, 40 subscribers. Maybe if I had five views on a video, I would consider myself lucky. I have literally videos that had over two, three thousand views. For me, that's just... what? I know I said that last time as well, but it's still, it's still mind-blowing. I was like, okay, I need 500 subscribers to get the community tab. I think I might do that in two years, if I'm lucky. Now I'm like, could I do that, like, in two, three months? Could we get the community tab that fast so we could, you know, start communicating, have polls? More funds! <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, I don't like to put that kind of goals on things, but it would be nice. That would be nice. So if you know anybody who likes to watch reaction movies, Give them a, like, go and subscribe to her or something. I don't know. Yeah, so, aside from that, you spent, like, 1.5, 1,500 hours watching me. Like, 1,500 hours for a month that has 28 days. Wow. That's a lot of time people watch me saying weird stuff on the internet. When you think about it, that's just... wow. I feel like I have so many friends that I never met now. <laughs> but I produced around... between Patreon and YouTube, you got in 2.3 videos a day. That's a lot of videos. But that's from January to now. That That's a lot of videos, people. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoy, because it's over 200 videos or something already. Um, I think there are 55 or something on Patreon and over 100 here. Yeah, so... Enjoy, you got a lot to watch. <laughs> um, we finished some series, like Baker Boys got a bit um, delayed the last episode. We will talk about that later. Uh, Pink with Love, we also finished. There is the shorted version on YouTube and then the full length version on Patreon. You can find all the links down below. Just click on the description and you will find a link tree and you will find a separate link for Patreon. In my link tree you have like links to my web shop, to Twitter, to Patreon, to... If you just don't want to, you know, 
support me on Patreon because you don't have the money for each month or whatever, you also have a link to buy me a coffee where you just can donate like a euro and buy me a coffee because seriously, I don't have a job and I could use some coffee <laughs> if I'm gonna keep this up. Um, we also finished Kissable Lips, but that's the Patreon exclusive, so that's not on YouTube. Uh, we will soon finish uh, Yen Y Season 2, I think the 11th episode is out today. I'm not sure when I have the time to react to it, but that's going to be out today. And then there is one episode left after that, so that's going to be ending next week. Uh, and so is In Your Heart. It's a Chinese BL uh, and it's not censored. But that's a Patreon exclusive because I couldn't put that on YouTube. Um, in, in March, we are going to finish up Not Me. That's going to be super sad. Something in my room. Uh, also one of those where you have a 20 minutes down edited version, but you have like an hour plus something on the YouTubes if you want to watch that. Um, we're also gonna finish up uh, First Love Again, which is another Patreon exclusive, and se Semanatic Error. I still can't pronounce that, people. Yeah, it's on Patreon. Uh, because they are Korean, and they usually get like blocked, or you even get like a copy strike warning, or a copy strike without a warning, so and what did we start then in February? Well, I started Sherry Blossoms after winter, like... Yeah, yeah, the first episode was released a week ago, I think. Um, I started, and that's a Patreon exclusive, because again, it's Korean. Um, um, we started Cutie Pie, we are on episode two. Um, and we also started a couple of mirrors. I have a bit of an, I wouldn't say an issue with copyright there, but I'm putting that on hold until I resolve. I know that the copy disputes that is in process on two of the episodes is solved. So I don't get a copy. Yeah. Um, so, so, because it's sold on two of them, but not on the other two. So I don't want to put out more of them until I know you know, that I can actually release them. So I have like a few of them in queue, but they are waiting. They will be released as soon as I know that it's safe. But copyright works in mysterious ways, people, so yeah. And uh, we're also continuing My Sky through the entire March, I think. Yeah, I think it's gonna end in April. And the same with Enchanté, that we also big started... Did we start that in January or February? I don't know, but yeah, that's also going to continue through all of... Um, all of February, March. Like, seriously, March. Uh, yeah, and series, I think I'm gonna start uh, my ride, because... If you saw my reaction to the trailer, you know that that's a series I've been waiting for, like, a year and a half since I first heard about it, because I felt that it was really interesting. Um, and it's gonna be released on um, Duga Gaga, yeah, that one, <laughs> that one, ah la la, <laughs> uh, the Taiwanese platform. Um. And I actually have a subscription to that one, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Uh, they have released uh, reaction guidelines, so there again, there is you have to edit down the episode, and that the guidelines on how big the rea like the episode, you know, I put the little episode in the corner. It has to be super small in those guidelines. Um, and that was before they got this international release. So I'm hoping that it's still valid, that it's still the same for us. But yeah, it's going to be like tiny. So, you know, the full reaction is going to be on Patreon. 
So if you want to sign up for Patreon, as I said, the link will be down below. And they will release the first five episodes on Friday. I don't know how many I can get up during the weekend. Because, you know, my Patreon, I can only upload a certain amount of videos every week as it is now. Um, I need to upgrade that, but I don't have the money for it. I, and there is a lot of things I would like, like a better camera, more lights, better storage. Yeah, but money. Money. I need to f food and be able to have a roof over my head and hopefully clothes. So, you know, priorities when you don't have an income and that doesn't, and I haven't had one for one and a half year. So, yeah. Priorities. Uh, but I will, I will try to watch that as fast as I can and get them up as fast as I can. So we are in phase with at least the international release. I think that is gonna be a week behind from the Thai release. Not sure, but I think so. So we are getting five episodes on Friday and Thailand is getting episode six. Um, from my understanding. So we're going to be a week behind, but at least I want to be that week behind and not like five episodes behind. So I'm going to try and push through that uh, as fast as I can without without just feeling like I'm pushing through it because I really want to react to it. I want to have thoughts. I want to, you know, all of that. So yeah, that's happening. Uh, dear Doctor, if I can, as I said in my trailer reaction, it's probably the video that was released before this. Um, it's on IC. It's a Chinese platform and they are notoriously... Um, yeah, copy strike, happy trigger. But I know that Studio Wabi Sabi has put other projects on IC and on their YouTube platform for international release. Um, and you could react to those. So I think it might be that they will do like they did with the mini episodes from Between Us that they put them behind a paywall for the first week and you're not allowed to react to them during that week but after that they put them on YouTube for free and you are allowed to react to them. I hope that's what they're doing but I because I think that's what they did with Between Us and I think that was the deal with the seven project. So here's for hoping, because I really want to watch Dear Doctor and I really want it to be on YouTube. I don't want to put things behind a paywall on Patreon. It's not, I, I, I don't do it because I think it's fun and lols and like, oh, please give me money. No, I do it because I don't have any other choice. And the only reason I take a fee on Patreon is because the video hosting actually costs money. It's not free. And as I pointed out, I don't have a job right now. Uh, this is like, this is what I do all day. Um, so yeah, that's why. It's not because I think, oh, please pay me to do this on internet. No, it's because I don't have any other choice. Okay, and besides that, uh, I'm still waiting for Cupid's Wish. Gmm TV finally released a statement saying it will be on YouTube, but it didn't clarify when i know before it was released that it was gonna be on disney plus hotstar in thailand there was this rumor that cupid's wish was gonna replace not me after that finished but then i think not me got two extra episodes instead of 12 it's a 14 episode so i'm not sure but i think that might be the plan for them to release it after not me so on Sundays in three weeks maybe four four weeks I don't know so yeah but when when it's released on YouTube I will react to that um 
I heard both good and bad things about it, so yeah. I'm not a fan of the director, uh, but that's a whole other issue. I like Earth and Mix, but I'm not a fan of their director. So we might, you, you might gonna hear some controversial opinions there, you know? Uh, but if you follow along my reactions, you know that that's not unusual when it comes to my reactions. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I also want to pick up the tuxedo, but I have a feeling that will be a Patreon exclusive. I also want to watch Color Rush 2, the movie, but that has to be a Patreon exclusive because I haven't seen the series and now the movie's out, so I will just watch the movie instead of the series. Um, I don't think, yeah. Usually there is actually extra scenes in the movies that aren't in the series. And the same goes with Old Boarding House. I haven't watched it and they released like episode 3 or 4 today. So I'm just gonna wait for the movie, I think. And put that on Patreon instead of the small episodes. Um... I know there are probably more Korean BLs coming out and I usually try to pick them up rather fast because I usually like them. If But the smaller ones, they are producing them like it's sugar pills now, so I, I can't keep up with all of them. Uh, so I'd rather watch the whole movie when they release that and put that on Patreon instead. So I think I'm going to start doing that with those, if that's alright with you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have a few others on my... If I have time, I might do this. Like, the best story, the yearbook. Um, I mean, I have some really old ones I haven't actually watched. Like, Make It Right, um, Waterboy. What else is there out there? Because uh, You Are My Boy. I haven't watched that one either. I, I'm not sure if I actually ever watched... Together with me season two. I know I've seen season one, but I'm not sure if I've seen season two because I heard it had, you know Some issues a lot of domestic violence and stuff um, So yeah, there are a few of those on my list that I never got around to watch if if you have any suggestions um, Leave them in the comment and I will look up, look it up or I will tell you that I have already watched it. Uh, but if you really want me to, I could probably do a rewatch if I feel like I have forgotten a lot of it. But uh, you have to be okay with a rewatch. And if you don't get back to me, then I will take it as no, you want the fresh watch and then I have to unfortunately tell you that you have to look for someone else. <laughs> okay. Um, so should we get, do a little get to know me better? Yeah, I think we should, because <laughs> I like those two, because I want to build a community. So if you were just here for the statistics, what we've been up to, what we're doing, you could probably leave now, but please do uh, subscribe and, you know, all of that. If you want to get me, get to know me better, the person behind all of this, you're welcome to stick around for this portion. Okay, so um, I thought I would address two things. Uh, yes, I had COVID during the entire uh, month of February. I still tried to put out the normal amount of videos, but it was kind of a struggle. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my videos that you could actually see my lips being blue. And one thing I never mentioned is that I am actually unvaccinated, not by choice though, uh, but uh, necessity or what? I got one shot and I almost died during that shot. Uh, so I've been working with doctors on how we're gonna fix this. Um, and it took almost, yeah, it took a year yeah, I got a shot a year ago, and so it's taken a year. Uh, and we actually have a battle plan now with medicines that I need to take, and I'm gonna be admitted for a day or two, so if you see me miss one of your favorite shows that I never ever miss, 
That's probably because I'm in the hospital uh, getting a vaccine. Uh, so yeah, I'm finally getting my vaccine shots like a year after everybody else. But getting the virus, I guess I could get, you know, mono, yeah, in trouble for talking about these things. Didn't think about that. Uh, well, anyway, um, was kind of scary and I was really, really sick. Um, I tried to hide it as best as I could, but I was... I was really, really, really sick. I was in and out of the hospital getting oxygen. Um, so yeah, but I'm better. Um, I got some scarring on my lung. I still have a pretty severe cough. Um, <clears throat> and I'm doing these kind of breathing exercises to get my lungs to expand fully. So they will work probably again uh, but yeah so that happened uh, it wasn't fun but yeah we're better um, get vaccinated wash your hands do all of the things don't forget covid is still a thing even though we have a lot of other things going on in the world right now um, yeah and then I wanted to talk about something more fun I guess uh, so some of you might wondering why a Noriel? Like, what's up with that name? What is does it even mean? Is it a Swedish name or is it just you know? No, it's not a Swedish name. It's uh, not even my real name. <laughs> if you watch my very 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 first episode, yeah, very 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 first uh, video that I put up, you get my real name because I say it in the beginning. Because that was before I started to use Anoriel. But Anoriel is the name I have used on the internet for... Yeah, let's not go there. But uh, ages. Ages. Um, so a lot of people know me as Anoriel. Like that, as I said, I've been a programmer. And I used Anoriel during that time. And yeah. So... <clears throat> A lot of people on the internet knows me as an Oriel. That that's that. I got friends in real life that doesn't know my real name. They well, they probably know my real name, but they never use it. They use an Oriel or Anno. Um. So for me, it's more. It's almost as close as my real name. But what does it actually mean then? Okay. Well. Um, and where does it come from? Um, well, I got this friend. He's actually not with us anymore. It's very, yeah. But it was years ago. But yeah, I got that f a friend when I was a teenager <clears throat> that said something along the line like, you are always so happy. Whenever you come into a room, the whole room feels brighter. And you just, you have this ray of shine, sunshine around you. So he started to call me Sun Girl, but in Swedish. And that just kind of stuck, I guess, because um, I was a teenager and um, my real name is kind of hard for Swedes to pronounce. No one pronounced it correct. Uh, my English name isn't the real pronunciation, it's just Englishification of my real name. Uh, when I lived in Spain, I couldn't use my real name because they don't have those letters. So I had to use the Spanish version of my name. So yeah, I have never really used my real name except for with family. Like in school, there were always like a Swedish vacation of my name because Swedes didn't understand how to pronounce it either. So yeah, my real name is... <laughs> was never really you know so when i got that nickname i got like oh but that was nice i got a nickname and people actually can pronounce it and you know so it felt better i guess than my real name i actually like my real name but it you know when no one does it right and you always have to correct them and they're like huh you're kind of getting tired of it but yeah um so I started calling myself that, like, Sun Girl, uh, but in Swedish. And it kind of stuck, and as I said, I have a lot of friends that uh, 
still call me that, like, years and years later. Um, so when internet came, well, internet came, <laughs> when I started hanging out on internet, uh, and especially when I started to hang out on the English-speaking side of internet, I was like, okay, so I need to make that name more international. How do I do that? And I was really into talking, talking by this time. So I was like, um, can I use Quenya or something like that, a, a language in talking? And yeah, I could. So Anoriel actually means sun ray in Quenya. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the story about why this channel is called Anoriel Reacts and why I say my name is Anoriel. So now you know. Don't know if you wanted to know that, but now you know. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's it for this channel update. Uh, I will talk to you next time. Bye!